Okay, would you like to sit right here in the front? You know what? I think I'll move this right over here. And you can be right up front there. You know what? You are really special children. But you know what? We are all children. I don't need this quite yet, so I'm going to put it over there. Now, this is not a once upon a time story. Have you ever heard of that kind of a story? Once upon a time, and then you might have Red Riding Hood or The Big Bad Wolf or something like that. But you know what? Those stories are fun, but they're pretend. They're not real. They're called, do you know what they're called? Make believe. Make believe. Very good. And another word for that is fiction. It's pretend. Make believe. The story I'm going to tell you is better than any of those because my story is from God's book. What's the name of this book? Bible. You're right. I bet you even know a song about it. Do you know a song about it? Shall we sing it? I'll put this right over here and you all three can sing together. It's the B-I-B-L-E. Do you know that one? That one's pretty easy. You know it. I bet you do. The B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God. The B I B L B. Bible. That's the best book in the whole world. It was quiet, but they, they heard you. Well, I want to tell you about my story today. It comes from the book of Samuel. And there are two books in the Bible, 1 Samuel and 2 Samuel. And guess what they're about? Guess who they're about? Samuel. They're about Samuel. How about that? Well, Samuel wasn't here yet. First of all, there was a lady named Hannah. Do you know any people named Hannah? It's a pretty name. We still hear that name today, out huh, there. Well, Hannah was married to Elkanah. And Hannah was very sad because she didn't have any children. She didn't have any babies to hold and love. And she was very, very sad. And Elkanah said, it's OK, Hannah. I love you. We don't have to have babies. I love you, Hannah, whether we have children or not. But Hannah said, I really want to have a baby to take care of and to love and to teach my baby about God. So every time they went to the tabernacle, who knows what a tabernacle is? It's the same thing as what we're in right now, kind of. What are we in? Church. It was a church a long time ago. And they could only go once a year because they lived far away. And they would bring their sacrifices and go to church. I think he'll be OK. You can let him move around. That's fun to kind of wiggle. So they went to church. And Hannah would pray, please. What did she pray for, do you think? Please, God, could I have a, a baby? And one time she was in church. And we have one right up front here. She was in church, and she, her lips were moving, and she was praying, and she was crying. And the priest came over, and he said, we'll pretend you're Hannah, okay? We said, he said, Hannah, what is wrong with you? Is there something wrong with you? Your lips are moving, and you're not saying anything. And you're crying. What's wrong with you, Hannah? And Hannah said, nothing. I just want, I'm praying to God that I would have a baby. And of my own. And Eli was the priest, and Eli said, Hannah, God has heard your prayer. And Hannah was very, what do you think? Happy. Hannah yeah, was very happy. And she went home, and do you know what? Within the next year, sure enough, she had a baby, but I have to tell you something else. Before she left the, the tabernacle, she told Eli, if God gives me a baby, I will give my child back to God. I will bring him to the tabernacle and let him help at the tabernacle and grow up in the tabernacle. So now there's a baby, and Hannah and Elkanah, we have a real baby up here helping us. <laughs> Hannah and Elkanah went back to church. The next year, they went back to the tabernacle with their baby, and they showed Eli was happy too. Everybody was happy. There was a new baby. And when, you know what they named the baby? The name of the book in the Bible. Samuel. They might call him Sammy. I don't know. Samuel was his name. 
and they brought Samuel back when he was a little bit bigger than this guy, a little bit bigger than that. They brought Samuel back to the tabernacle one year, and they left him there with the priest. What was the priest's name? Eli. Eli. So Samuel now lives at the tabernacle, and Eli's there, and Samuel helps. He's a good helper. He does whatever Eli tells him. He does what God tells him. His mommy and daddy taught him how to listen. Always important to listen to mommy and daddy. Always important, even greater, to listen to God. How do you hear God? Does God talk to people? Usually, it's sort of hearing inside your head. That's absolutely right. Hmm. All right. <laughs> Sometimes he talks out loud to people. He's not talked out loud to me, but he could, he could if he wanted to. But he usually talks in your heart or in your head, and you have ideas that are good. If you have a bad idea in there that says take somebody's cookie, was that from God? No, no that's a bad part. That's a bad part. But Samuel knew God's voice inside of his head. But guess what happened? One night, Samuel was all wrapped up in his bed, sound asleep in the tabernacle in his special bed. He was sound asleep, and all of a sudden, Samuel, Samuel. And he sat up, and he went running to Eli, because he thought Eli was calling him. Wouldn't you think that? And he said, Eli, what is it? And Eli looked at him, Eli was probably rubbing the sleep out of his eyes, and he said, I didn't call you, Samuel. Go back to bed. So Samuel went back, went back, got his covers back over him, sleep again. And he goes, Samuel! Samuel! Sits up again, runs back to Eli, and he's probably thinking, Eli, don't you even remember calling me? Okay, here we go. So he goes back, and Eli said, no, I didn't call you. Go back to bed. But then Eli had an idea. He said, Samuel, God is calling you. And when you hear his call again, say, here I am, Lord. I am your servant. So Samuel went back to his room and went back to bed. But do you think he went to sleep this time? I think he was waiting to hear that voice again, don't you? So sure enough, Samuel... Samuel. And Samuel sat up and he said, I hear you, Lord. I am your servant. And God spoke to Samuel and he told him, Eli was making bad choices. The priest was making bad choices. But even worse, his sons, his sons had kind of funny names. Their names were Phineas and Naphtali, or Naphtali. I'm not sure. Aren't you glad you didn't get those names? Yeah, me too. Um, they were bad guys. They took things from the church. They stole things from the church, and they made bad choices all the time. And God told Samuel all those things, and he said, I'm going to, I'm going to punish them. So Samuel went back to bed. He felt kind of bad about all that. And the next morning, Eli got up, and he went, and Samuel saw Samuel, and he said, Samuel, what did God tell you? And Samuel didn't want to tell him because it was bad news. It's not fun to tell bad news, is it? But if God tells you to do something, you need to do it, right? Yeah. And those, those boys, those grown-up sons should have been making better choices and they needed to be punished. So Samuel said, I'm sorry, Eli, but God said that your sons are going to die. They're going to be punished. And you are too, Eli. So Samuel listened to God, and he did what God told him. And sure enough, those sons went out to battle, and they were killed in battle. And Eli died shortly after that as well. But Samuel did the right thing. He listened to God, and he made the right choice. And do you know, does God talk to, to people today in their, in their head? And you know another way? In the Bible. When we read our Bible, he talks to us that way. And if you're not reading it, you have good grandparents and mommies and daddies that read the Bible to you. And I'm so glad. I can tell you to read it, too. And you have a big heart on your shirt and a heart inside. And I can just tell from your bright face and all of you that you have Jesus in your heart already. 
because you belong to him already and you listen to him and you obey. Remember, God can use children. Samuel was just a little boy and God used him. He might be telling you to share a little bit of your lunch with somebody that doesn't have much lunch. Or maybe he's telling you to be kind to somebody that looks lonely. Or maybe he's telling you to do something else. Just listen. Listen. I see. And actually, we're all children, aren't we? Amen. And so we all need to listen to his word. Amen. And I've loved having you up here today. Thank you for coming. And that's the end of my story for today. Have a great Sunday.